Hey guys, today we are going to talk about some booster box prices. We will talk about RTR and Pharos. And they are the interesting sets because they mark a line in the sand where buying boxes was totally crazy and not worth it. Now, will Modern Masters and Iconic Masters and all of these sets follow? Is Iconic Masters the line in the sand for specialty quote sets it is now rtr was hyped to oblivion so if you look at innistrad innistrad boxes are relatively healthy Averson restore boxes are relatively healthy and rtr boxes people bought so much of this stuff so much of it and very little of it was well i will put it this way a lot of it was opened a lot of it, a lot of it was kept unsealed in people's closets, but very little of it is in demand currently, which is compelling because you have all five shocklands in this. You have five shocklands, and then you have five more in Gatecrass. And Gatecrass is, I mean, its value is non-existent, almost sixty-five dollars all day on Dave and Adams and other websites. So what happened with RTR and why did this change the environment from Magic the Gathering? RTR, as many of you know, I bought $5,000 worth with two other friends. So we're talking about about $1,700 and change. I was able to dump most of it, but I still have boxes and boxes of this product. Could I have imagined that the product just doesn't ever go up in price like ever? No, obviously I felt like this was a great product given that it had Abrupt Decay, which has since been reprinted. It had Vraska, which I really like long-term and she is doing well. It had Jace AOT, which, I mean, it's probably, it's not bad. That card did see some modern play at some time in its life. And Revelation, which I thought would be okay for, as a fringe modern card. Death Rite Shaman, which then got banned and then reprinted. So I have a lot of different stuff to it. And let's go over each of those. So Shocklands, we all know, will be reprinted. So it's not in super high demand and it's not spiking up like $20 because it will be reprinted whenever it hits 20 Now, Death Rite Shaman is a incredibly powerful and potent card. Unfortunately, it was banned in Modern, therefore it's and then reprinted again. So not only was it banned, it was banned and reprinted. Which, eh... It is what it is. So Death Rite Shaman's gone. The five shock lands are not, uh, they're on a time, they're ticking timer to be reprinted. And what else is in this set? Vraska is still very good. I think she has ticked up in popularity given that she is a pirate now. And Jace AOT, I mean, he just didn't see the modern play. And this is the story of every single box. The card, Nomad RTR was somebody's last set. I forget what his name was, but then he went off to do charity and he made sure to push the set's power level. Now, let's talk about this set, the green set. The green set was much, much weaker than RTR. And you might ask, oh, why is it 85 bucks still? Why is this set that came out later as expensive as RTR if you're saying RTR is very, very powerful? This set's main reprint was Doxies, which again has been reprinted with better artwork. It also had Elspeth Sun's Champion. It's very similar to Jace AOT, although it is seeing more play than Jace. And the Gods, which you know, kind of more casual. This box is doing just as well as RTR, not because it's powerful, but because there's more casual cards in it. Uh, namely, the Gods are more fun to play than other cards. Now the temples, the land base, the temples are not as good as Shocklands and it kind of balances out. 80, 85 is what you expect to see in average box. I saw these at Dave and Adams for under 70. Just, I think it's still under 70. They have, we're having a, they have a sale like every day. So don't listen to them when they say, like, oh, we have a limited amount. It, it's never that way. I've tried to buy them out on multiple things and they just restock. And it's like, okay, that was not cool. Anyway. Boxes from RTR and beyond are really not worth speculating on. It's so terrible expected value that I can't imagine anyone buying these and hoping. I, I think 
the best example of what will happen to you if you speculate on new boxes. Maybe old boxes are different, but I don't think it's going that way. Why open a box of original Legendary card unless you're really interested in drafting, but there's no value in it because you can you can buy a box of Modern Masters 2017 and open way better cards and still get your fill of the Zendikar fetch lands, which is the main chase cards in original Zendikar anyway. But back to my point. Uh, that one video was quite shocking. The guy buys a bunch of boxes and has to get out. And it wasn't that he made a mistake. It's just the timing was totally off. The boxes he was buying was Magic Origins and RTR. And, I mean, it just was a bloodbath. So the only way you make money from this is if you buy from people who bought as speculations. And let me tell you this. The real opportunity is coming. People can hold on to these boxes forever. People have cases and cases of RTR. Eventually, they're going to have to sell because storage or a significant other doesn't want it or they need the extra cash. And when they sell RTR, it'll be for under $60 a box. How do I know this? Because I see local boxes for under 60 all the time on Dragon Maze, of course. But I mean, that's Dragon Maze. But even on Pharos, I haven't seen RTR that much and I would be quite interested in buying RTR at 60. A lot of you say MTG Finance is dead. It, yes, it is for boxes. It's dead in the sense that you can't buy a box for 80 and make money from it anymore. But if you buy a box from someone at 40 or like Rudy does, 140 for a modern masters or iconic master set, you can still make money. You can still make a decent bank on it. Because eventually it won't be 140, right? Eventually it'll go up in price. The same with these boxes. If you get RTR for $50 or under, you might think that's crazy, but there are people with 20, 40, 100 boxes of this stuff and they just want to get rid of it. How do I know? Because they are local game stores contacting me. and But the problem is they want me to buy all the boxes at a certain price. So there was this local game store that wanted me to buy all the boxes at $70. I was like, no, no. And they had hundreds of boxes. And I didn't want to buy all of them. I would have bought RTR probably at 65, but I would have just kept RTR. I don't want the Dragon Maze. People, I don't know, it's cra crazy. People have so much origins in Dragon Maze. It's kind of uh, scary to think about that as a local game store, that if you purchased a ton of origins and a ton of Dragon Maze, there's no way for you out them and not lose a ton of money on them. And that's currently where we are today. Like there's not a reason to argue it. Magic cards are cheaper than they have ever been for standard and for these modern, more recent modern sets. I like it, I like it. But you, your, your opportunity is not to buy this at 80 and hold it. Your opportunity to just buy it from someone who believed it was an investment, who now wants to get out and is willing to out these at 55 or 60. RTR is 60, like I think that's a fantastic deal and I'm getting to that point. Anyway, that's it. Bye guys.